recording. Hey guys, welcome to Monster on Trip with the Chaos Crew! Let's get you! Right? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, I realized. Yeah, the I code's forgot. up, but the, the lo lobby's already full, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so, <laughs> Chaos Crew! Um, for those of you who do not know who the Chaos Crew is, it is a bunch of dorks getting together and just having a bunch of chaos, including myself. We have Creepy, aka Creepy Lucy. Days. Creepy Days. We have Bibiano Beats, aka Brian. Yes. <laughs> and what? we have what? Christy, what? aka Husbando Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, mind you that this is one of two, one of two, te almost three groups that we'll be playing Monster Camp with, a uh, Monster Road Trip with. Um, so today is going to be with Chaos Crew. Another time is going to be with the Sexy Pack, which is going to include Dahlia, Freya, and Silaria. Um, and that's going to be in November. And then eventually, sometime, hopefully, knock on wood, we're going to have <laughs> the Girl Squad play Monster Road Trip. <laughs> oh, <thank laughs> Following God. traditions, but. But right now it's Chaos Crew, so if you don't mind a little bit of chaos, welcome to the chaotic party. And if you're a little squeamish, if you're a little like, I don't know if I can handle all of this chaos, we do highly right. suggest probably not being here, as not only will the chaos crew be ensuing a lot of unfiltered chaos, we will also be basically saying that there are triggers within this game that could be a little too chaotic for people. At the beginning of the game, when you loaded the game, you will see that there is an option to filter out and have trigger warnings for anything that includes little toilet humor, drug usage, sexual content, or violent content. Being that this is Road Trip, the devs have let us know that there is a little bit of a boost in terms of the content. So please be warned that if we do go a little chaotic, know that it's all in good fun. We're not like going hog wild on anything like that. And if you do need to step away from the stream, please step away from the stream for your own self-care and safety, okay? I mean, to be fair, the last times we played these games, how many times have I said, "Yep, gonna fuck, gonna fuck the werewolf"? Yep, <laughs> you gonna fuck Scott? You gonna fuck Scott? Scott. Looks at the monster fucker next to me. <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> ah, you oh, the my fucker. God. oh my god! All right. So that being said, if you do not know what Monster Road Camp is, a uh, road camp. Monster, I'm now flipping all the titles. It's now going to be Monster, it's gonna be camp, Monster, Monster Road Trip. Prom Camp Road Trip. That's the entire yeah. title of it now. Um, now, so if you don't know what Monster Road Trip is, basically, Polly and Scott. Roger? <laughs> what? 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 You said Rauncher. Rauncher? Monster Road Monster Road Trip. <laughs> Monster Prom Camp there Trip. You go. Monster Road Trip. If you don't know what that is, Polly and Scott from Monster Prom have decided to go on a little road trip and they've dragged us along with them. So while this is not fully a dating simulator <laughs> where we're trying to date people, there are dating elements, but the point of this game is to collaborate and survive. Because none of us want to be left in the desert to die. <laughs> so I just want to Yeah, like look I at all those losers from Oregon Trail. <laughs> Listen, I just want to um, eat Scott's ass. Like, I don't care. Lamau! Like, eat his ass like it's a fucking cake. Bro. And yes, you all broke my pronunciation of this. Y'all broke my pronunciation. But nonetheless. Um, so, we're going to have some fun with I'm Road Katie's Trip. making fun of you. Yeah, everyone's making fun of me. It's fine. Y'all broke me. You all get my mispronunciations. It's fine. You all get my mispronunciations. It's all your fault. Um, but we will be having fun with Monster oh. Road Trip. Um, and we also have the DLCs. So, we are not bound to just the four um, main players. We have four other options available. Um, but whenever you guys are ready, click that smile, okay? All right, here we go. As, Get... as, Ger as Germa once said, la la. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do at least so one funny. game of the stream for each group. We're going to try and do our best. Um, if we go too long and we are just shit at the game, we're just shit at the game. But we're going to yeah. do our best. Brian, click the happy face. We're getting ready la to go. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Yeah! All right, so no! what's your road oh, trip prank style? Master. Wait, Whoa. prank master. Keep playing to unlock. Play with okay. your friends without ending up with a failure or an MVP ending. No pressure. Fuck road tripper, the true survival co-op experience, including player yeah! performance ranking at yeah! the end. Yeah, let's go. Yep. Let's I, think, I think yeah! we're chaotic enough to do this. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's your road trip <laughs> style? Easy. Focus on narrative and taking the scenic. High initial resources and deep conversations are impossible to fail. Your standard road trip experience is standard, as well as an extra attempt at deep conversations, or do we want to go hard off mode? Uh, yeah, normal. I think normal I is completely normal. fine. I'm going normal. Let's go normal. All yeah, right. Yeah, we're going hard, baby. All right. <clears throat> ah, the road, that mythical beast of asphalt. 
We once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott planned a road trip. The whole thing was bound to go off the rails. This was Prank Masters, after all. And thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Raiders! Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly Geist, 22, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all of the wrong things. Each of them were, by themselves, an agent of chaos. But together? Together they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? The All dumbasses right. like us? <laughs> dumbasses like us! Oh, so we have oh, options! Oh, oh, no. I know immediately who I want. I know immediately who <laughs> There's I want. Juan. <laughs> and oh, then, oh my please, god, love it. Please. And then, okay, so, I see, here's the, see, mo mo Moth Girl is so cute. Is them? She? Them? He? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I actually did not do my research on this character, so someone please fill me in. See, I'm torn between my girl. Like, I mean, she's voiced by Daniel McRae. Like, she is, she is the girl. She is like the best. Moth cutie. Yeah, Molly is a moth person. Moth person. Got it. So it's. And I'm assuming they them or just a non non caring for any pronouns. Um, but Juan, yeah, look at Juan. Juan is like no, Juan looking Juan good. Will beat your ass. <laughs> why, why is Tit so fat? Like, hello? Like, Lamau, I want to, like, I just, like, are they squishable okay. squeaky? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just gonna let you know yeah? that I look directly at the chest and then I look down and I'm like, oh, they put that on purpose. Fair enough. <laughs> right? I would like to say also, me and Brian's head are covering it, so. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna go with my girl. Uh, I'm gonna go with my girl because uh, she's my usual. And maybe next time, moth person. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Um, but yeah. So okay, Amira. So I'm gonna change it to my custom name. Um, yep, that's a good. Um, pronouns. Uh, I'll just go she. I don't really care. All right, so. All right. Oh, you you next. already know who I'm gonna choose. Next. I, I didn't know. Who's Hi, next? that's yeah. me. That's yeah. me. Because oh, <laughs> look at that! Head. That is literally you, Prasad. Look at him! <laughs> you gonna pick Come up? on! Help! The, the, how the fuck? Yes! All right, we well, are picking glitch. Or do you want to change love the name? Glitch. All right, go for it. <laughs> love it. I didn't even know he was a character. Uh, excuse me, they were a character. I oh my god. Love it. I love them. All right, next, I believe that. Yep, Brian. <laughs> Go on with Brian. Brian the zombie. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh God! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Oh my God, that's great. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this other name Chicle? Yeah, Chicle. <laughs> Yep. Really? Yep. <laughs> I fucking hate, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my it. god. All right, and now I'm gonna Okay. Be. Um. I think Zoe. The, Definitely Zoe. I think I'm gonna be real. I like the new four ones more. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, the four ones are great. They're actually really good. All right. Tune your trip vibes. Who's Ooh. who's choosing the tune? Fuck, I turned off the music. I don't know how it's gonna sound. I, 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 Rave, I, 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 let's go, Rave. Let's go to the Lo-fi beats, let's go. Fuck. Right. It's lo-fi. It's all good. Was the road trip a- Wait, was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yo, look yes. at Juan. What the fuck? Look at you. Like, oh my god. Them tits. <laughs> Big boobs. It's not my turn, so someone has to click it through it. Was oh. it poorly planned? Yes. Did we do it anyway? Fuck yes. For the end- For in the end. <laughs> We were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Slay. All right, here we go. Waiting for the place to join. Yep, yep, yep. All right. McCall. So look at, look at us. We have 10 of each. So we got to be careful. All yeah. right, so should we go to the roadside wig museum or Doom's Diner? Ooh. Ooh. Diner, diner. I want to go to the diner, diner. not going to lie. I always got to go to an isolated diner. Cool. I can eat some fries. Well, by eat, I mean drink. And by fries, I mean vodka. <laughs> Oh god. I mean Molly. Me. Well, well not me, but <laughs> You read about the designer in the listicle in the listicle of the top ten most cursed restaurants you should never ever visit. Obviously you took that as a challenge. Oh my god, look I'm just so done for it. <laughs> Seriously, after all the dark magic you've messed over the years, you think you can handle a diner. 
So now that you're here, what do you do? All right. Uh, who wants to be Scott? Uh, Brian. I, I Brian. <laughs> Go for it. I said, I said directly, at Brian. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not broy enough. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> You're broyer than me. Since Brian. when? The fact that you choose he pronouns instead of they. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm, literally... fucking, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, listen, I'm, Brian, I'll hold your hand. <laughs> emoji. Emoji. <laughs> Damn, that's lewd. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, hey, hey! It's Monster Road Trip. It's if anything goes at this point. <laughs> monster Road Trip, more like Monster Horror Trip. Am I right, ladies? No, no! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, go for it. Polly, I've been meaning to ask you. How uh, how do you road trip? There's no shame in asking, Scott. Let me explain. All of us will share six essential resources, <laughs> and we need to manage them wisely to keep this trip afloat. So we need to be careful because the choices we make during the trip can affect these resources. And if one of them depletes completely, we can kiss this road trip goodbye. So you're telling me that I should stop pouring out all the gasoline on the road? That is correct. Yes, <laughs> don't do that one. <laughs> I get it. So our goal is to avoid running out of any resource and keep road tripping forever. No, no. The goal is to reach one of the six destinations each every road trip leads to. I have this travel guide that explains how each destination requires us to hoard a different resource. You can check that guide whenever you want. Click on the destination tab on the right or press E on the keyboard or LB on the controller. You mean this? E. Oh! Okay! Um. Not not to be a horror, but like, Ooh. do you think the narrator's hot? Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah. Weren't you able to like date them in the last game? Yeah, you could yeah, date you them. Could. I think yeah, in the first secret, game. Yeah. Um, there you find the requirements to reach a destination and win the game. And now the exposition narrator voices inside our heads. We get it. Keep our resources far above zero and hoard enough for the one resource to reach a destination. Let's go. All right. So, ooh, so guess which resource you'll lose, but you'll always gain hype. Um, gain resource to lose, always gain stamina, or gain mind. I think we're gonna- I think hype. I think we wanna hype this up. Let's go hype, 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 hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all enter the diner and approach the jukebox <coughs> to play some tunes. But before you can pick a song, your eerie waiter shows up to ruin your good time. Oh my god! Oh, oh, hey, Gerard! Oh, oh, it's Gerald. Hold on, I got this one. You got this. Okay, I would also like to point, his name is Gerard. Yeah, Gerard. Gerard, Gerard yeah. Y'all get the joke here, right? Yep. <laughs> I don't. Uh, nope. my chemical. Ro oh, <coughs> my chemical romance. Yes, the lead singer, um, my, my chemical romance. <clears throat> Gerard. Yep. I wouldn't touch yeah, okay. that if I were you. Hold on, wait. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, hold on. Hold oh my on. god. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this correctly. Okay. Waiting. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Oh my gosh. You were. Us? When were you us? I never noticed. <laughs> Scott, it's God, okay. You're <laughs> God, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> I love it. Gerard, stop confusing Scott with your past conditional tenses and be of service here. We're obviously not you, because unlike you, we're cool and fun and sexy, which means we're probably going to play some music. Well, you aren't you just a fucking bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You think you're better than me? <laughs> cool, fun, and sexy has nothing on stressed, depressed, and hot in a sickly Victorian child way. <laughs> Which for some reason is a lot of people's type. I mean, okay. I mean, I mean, to be fair, he's to like kind of. I mean, to be fair, he's kind of my type. Right you know, okay, you don't need to call the high school me out, okay? <laughs> Girl, high, school. Anyway, bitch. Girl <laughs> high school you <laughs> I mean okay moving on Besides Mikhail is totally in I mean stop it I'm trying to I'm trying to do you a favor The reason you shouldn't use the jukebox is because it's cursed Ooh Ha the only cursed thing here is this picture I found of a squirrel that ate a whole melon how did the squirrel manage to fit a whole melon in its body, Gerard? It shouldn't be anatomically possible, Gerard. Look at the squirrel, Gerard! Was that, 
Was that a fucking well, see, movie reference? What, what you do is you just bend <laughs> over, relax the muscle. Oh, yes. Stop. Uh, <laughs> stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. <laughs> Your bubbly stream of nonsense is cursed enough already. <laughs> Go ahead. Use the jukebox. It's your funeral. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, it's not. My funeral was in a way cooler diner. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Michaela, choose a dope curse track to play. Oh, uh, let's see. Go full DDR and do Valkyrie Dimension and Beethoven Virus back to back or 10 uninterrupted hours of the happy birthday song. Okay, I'm biased, so um, I want to do the DDR one. Same here. Yeah, do the DDR. I like yeah, the DDR. I'm sorry. What do you DDR mean one of the options isn't 10 full uninterrupted hours of, hey, wh uh, what's new pussycat? <laughs> <laughs> do DDR! As soon as you hit play, all the lights in the diner go out. Demonic arrow-shaped sigils appear at your feet. The Devilish Chimera Whoa. song begins, and you dance faster than ever before. Your feet are a frenzied blur. What? <laughs> Did Beethoven? Did Beethoven? Did Beethoven? I hate you. <laughs> what, a what a tragic affair. This song is two of the hardest DDR tracks ever created. Magically stitched together by a sinister necro dancer. Necro dancer! Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. No, you're not. I'm not uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I have I have too many things to do. <laughs> even I would even I would never create a curse so despicable. The only dance with I condone are the headbang and the stoic letter sway. Anyway. Wow, intense. How long is Michaela going to be dancing for? I mean, I could go for two whole straight hours. I'm good. Who knows? You can't stop dancing. You dance out of the diner. You dance all day, every day, ceaselessly. You dance your way into your dream job. You dance during your wedding vows. You have children, and you and your beautiful family dance together. You grow old, and you're diagnosed with terminal dancing syndrome. And your doctor is also dancing? You okay, only have six like months left to live. Six months left to dance. <laughs> okay. Question. So does that mean when... She was giving birth. Was she yeah. dancing on the table? Yep. Like, on, on the, on the, she probably was like doing the can can, like throwing the legs over there. <laughs> and that baby popped right out. Exactly. You make the most of that time until you begin to see the light and you dance toward it. Ready, at last, for rest. The light clears and you're lying on the diner floor. Everyone is staring at you. Then they burst into applause. <laughs> oh my you. god, Michaela, you broke the curse! You broke it with your sick, nasty moves! You gain too hot for being such a hard ass two headed song, but you lose two stamina because this was too much dancing for one day. Maybe for one life. I just twerked my way out of the diet and just twerked my way out of it. <laughs> yeah, the, that applause wasn't the people around the diner. That was literally her ass clapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. All right, where are we going? All right. So we got the motel, which is completely. Fancy. We don't know. Yeah. Or we go full throttle. I mean, we go to the biker bar, but it, the biker bar guarantees hype. Yeah. So if we're, if we're building hype, but we need to be careful because with too much stamina loss, we might get uh, problems. Yeah. So I'm looking at this. It's only hype or we only gain hype, but we can lose money and we can afford to lose money yeah. here. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Mm -hmm. So what do that's, we think? Yeah. Uh, um, well, I mean, it's up to you. Either I way. Let's go random. Oh, we're going to do we're, 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 go balls deep into random. Oh, God. <laughs> but, like, but what if the men here are high? I mean, they could be. But what if they're not? Yeah, what's the kind of this? I'm, I'm, hey, I'm desperate. I I'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the dragon erotica uh, um, advertisement. Let's go. <laughs> also, oh, I didn't, oh, my God. Um, speaking of erotica, hey, guys. Nope. Did you, <laughs> what? <laughs> We're playing Buster Road Trip. We're not playing. We're yeah, not playing. You know what? Advertise obedience. Yeah. No, 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 no. But like, after this, you know what you guys can do? You guys can go purchase your very own copy of Obedience by Michaela Luz. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah. slay house down boots. You are yeah. crazy. You are crazy. Okay, but which way? Which way? Are we um, going? Uh, I vote fancy motel. I I say bar. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, Brian. <laughs> bar. Bar? Oh, we're doing the bar? Oh, okay, yeah. Bar. That's fine. Uh. <laughs> the real curse of that diner was a nasty restroom. Yuck. Breaking bottles, clinking oh, shot shit. glasses, <laughs> revving motors, the crash of a window of some dude just got thrown out of. Such are the 
um, oh, dulcet yeah, melodies of a bona fide yeah. biker bar. Oh my god, oh, look wait, at you, so cute! Oh, wow, so cute. That's adorable! This is your oh, chance to embrace your inner badass. What do you do? <laughs> All right. Ooh. Woohoo! Again. Let's choose an action and make an event happen. Yes, I'm ready for all the randomness these events involve. Actually, Polly, I was checking this travel guide, and it seems they aren't so random after all. Look, these different signs apparently refer to different types of events. The most common type of events are called exchange events. After making a choice in those, you'll always lose a resource and gain a resource no matter what. The trick is making the right choice, since that'll decide which resources are gained and lost. But if there's a resource on next to the event type sign, that's called a known resource. Okay. It means that resource is guaranteed to be effective no matter what your choice is. Also, I'm going to be very real with you. I've been staring at Scott's tits this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> His hair. If the sign is positive, then the resource is guaranteed to be <clears throat> If it's negative, then you'll know you'll lose it. Hmm. I'm about to lose it if I don't get my face in between those. <laughs> like, for example, if we see an action with this sign, we know we'll lose money here. Our choice will only determine which resource we'll gain. Mm. Also, yes, I know his tits are covered. That doesn't mean I'm not going to stare at them. That's not so bad. If we know losing or gaining a resource is unavoidable, we can be strategic about it. Yeah, it's like I know that uh, Polly's tits are covered, but that still don't mean I can't stare at them. Fair enough. I mean, my tits are really fucking great. This all sounds very useful, but also like too much pressure for a fan favorite Polly to keep track of. Not fan favorite. I am a fan favorite. <laughs> fan favorite. Lucy, can we leave these decisions to you? Thanks. You're such a bit. I know. <laughs> all right. So what we got? Oh no. Okay. okay. So we know for a fact we're gonna get hype. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the thing is, I'm worried we're gonna lose stamina. Yeah. From a fight. Yeah, from a fight. I mean, we could always get some money and play pool. Or we can, or we can absolutely risk, um... Risk? We can lose, we can risk losing some money. Okay. And then gain because something. We, gain something. we can gain something, yeah. Yeah, we can gain something. So we know we're losing it. That's, I mean, I'm, I'm down with that. As long as we know we're losing the money, we'll gain something in return. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather lose money than gain hype in something else. So, all right, so get some shots. <laughs> The sober one, of course. <laughs> yeah, right? no, no, the sober like... one. <laughs> oh, okay. So super off topic. So I just played a show yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I find we. So I used, you know, I used to do a lot of clubs, and a lot of them didn't have mocktails. Yeah. The past two clubs that I've gone to all had mocktails. I'm like, wow. Okay. Whoa. This is new to me because mm. I'm not used to clubs not having mocktails. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was really nice. And for those who don't know what a mocktail is, it should make sense, but. For the case that who don't drink, a mocktail is basically a cocktail, but you remove the alcohol. For those who don't know, I'm actually pretty sober. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't drink. I don't, um, I don't do drugs, and any quote unquote drugs I do, um, is for pain management. So, yeah. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, go. go. All right. <laughs> you and your friends take a seat at the bar. A tough-looking unicorn and a boisterous storm element sit next to you. What? Wait, is this? Wait, is this who I think it is? Oh, is this oh. mommy? Mommy! Yes. <laughs> this is mommy! We hey guys, back. I didn't know you drank here. Oh my god, I we love her. Queen, back. queen, queen. She's my mo she's mommy. <laughs> mommy? Sorry, mommy. Uh, bonus points for the comment of shades. <laughs> Hi, Suzanne. We're just passing through on a road trip. Do you and your friend come here a lot? Yeah, all the time. Whiskey and I own this place. Alright, who's gonna be the unicorn? I look directly at Christy. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 um, okay. I don't know. Uh, well, not literally. Someone else does that. But we own, like, the cred of this place. Valid. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I, I'm, I'm starting to look at Whiskey a little. <laughs> We're tight with all the regulars. Look, like Johnny there. What's up, man? How's your niece? She's dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the biker whiskey yeah. shouting at looks up and says, "My name's Bodrick. Who the hell are you, Broderick? Who the hell are you?" <laughs> <laughs> Clark, 
Classic Johnny! <laughs> Such a jokester. LaMau! <laughs> uh, right. So, what's good to drink here? Try the fermented gasoline. They'll put hair on your chest. I got enough of that, thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Fermented gasoline. <laughs> well, mind you, we're playing monsters, so I was like... <laughs> Still. <laughs> sure, the gasoline's pretty good if you're into fruity stuff. I'm a screwdriver man myself. Sir. <laughs> uh, not, not that. He's like, bro got a rainbow on, <laughs> on his jacket. <laughs> I don't know. The bartender slides whiskey a literal metal screwdriver in a pint glass. He starts chewing on it vigorously. Oh. <laughs> You gotta love the authentic rustic flavor! Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> what are you gonna order, Lucy? No pressure, but we're totally gonna judge you based on your choice. Uh, uh, mommy? <laughs> A part of the nice! <laughs> the strongest spirit, spirit of someone really strong. Or a glass aid of water? AID BAND! An aid band? Oh my god. So, hmm... I'm not sure, like a lot of- like, Not even sure what the glass of water will do, but it will do something, hopefully. Uh, okay, but like, this is like my most realistic choice, but yeah. let's be real, I, I'm not being realistic here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Um, well, you're only gonna lose money here, so yeah, whatever so you pick, we're gonna gain. it's gonna benefit you. Yeah, we're gonna gain so something. I know, well, so then what I'm thinking is that this will give us strength. Well, stamina, you mean? Stamina, yeah. Well, here's the thing, is I, it I stamina or soul? It could give us soul as well. Mm. So a punch in the face could be stamina, or the psycho one could be stamina. Yeah. So then, what the fuck could the water be? I don't know. That's the problem. You're, Maybe... you're fucking probably nothing. <laughs> like, hmm. Yeah, because I'm thinking the middle one is soul because it literally is the strongest spirit, the spirit of someone, someone alive. And then the punch in the face would be stamina. I kind of want to try the punch in the face. Yeah, see, well, why not? If it's your choice. Because because if it's a punch in the face, then we're gonna get the stamina back. Yeah. If it's stamina. Yeah. So or we just benefit somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You pay the bartender two Ooh. money and he slides you a hot shot of strong liquor. You take a sip. Not bad. It's missing something. But honestly, you're just glad the punch in the face was a drink and not a literal assault. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> Everybody, this you were a punch in the face. <laughs> The entire bar collectively socks you in the jaw. It hurts like hell. Suzanne's got a mean right hook, and Whiskey's hooves are... Well, hooves. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus! And then I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, Flintstone. You literally just, like, gone up and, like... <laughs> okay, but, like, the thing is that someone just goes... Oh! Oh, and then, oh my... and then I just let out a... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Either that or uh... You swallow all the blood in your mouth, it's... Delicious for some reason? Yummy! <laughs> Lamau? Pretty good, huh? Blood is a secret ingredient that makes a punch in the face work. Shut the fuck mm -mm -mm. up! <laughs> Sweet, delicious iron. La <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, I mean, I mean, the bitch over there did say the rustic flavor. Oh my the god. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, I wish I still had blood in me. I'll never know the true flavor of this artisanal beatdown. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Polly. You could possess my body and we could try the punch of the face together. <laughs> no, the fuck you won't. That's my man. Lamau! <laughs> really? Yeah, only I creepy can be inside him. I never possess someone without their consent, mm. but if you're okay with it, then sure. Totally, bro. That's the power of teamwork. Oh my god. <laughs> you do another shot of with Polly and Scott. Because oh, that's not permanent cerebral damage between friends. You get two hype. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. We got oh, what we so wanted. We ended up the hype anyways. Hey, good shit. Awesome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <Okay>. Juan. <laughs> Fucking Juan. <laughs> All right. We have the fortune teller. Ooh. So we can Have gain you? money and maybe lose. like magic or mind and then also lose money or ooh, ooh. Mm. ooh. monster oh, truck yeah. death match oh, that's something about hype and money to it though mm. yeah, I think, yeah i think we have enough like hype i mean yeah. i could always go for that option that gives us money yeah money would be good yeah probably lose soul or something like that with gambling or something like that 
I'm down for anything. I'm just. I'm down. We are here on a road trip in the middle of a car, driving along a highway, and being completely fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dooby doo, driving the car. Like hey! Whoa! Whoa! What? Why is the car stop? Whoa! I'm getting dizzy watching our resources go up and down. Yeah, man. Is it even possible to know what we're losing or gaining beforehand? Are they really? Dang, we're doomed. Put something on the radio. We may fuck up this road trip, but at least we'll fuck it up while having some fun. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our humble road radio show, where our guests give narratively convenient road trip tips. Today we have road trip survivors Cormac F. Thompson and Hunter McCarthy. Guys, what can you share with our audience? That's not me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got this one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me stop by saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the already. I love it. I love yeah. it. Let me stop by saying that the number one cause of road trip related deaths is not property of understanding how to manage resources. <laughs> Example one the Donner Party. Oh my god. Oh my oh god. My Who's god. the oh. Elder Horror? Who's the Elder Horror? Um. Uh. I vote Christy. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes! The dreaded sticks! <laughs> Most Arctic experienced road trippers they think they behave in arbitrary ways, but that's simply not true. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right! Uh, where did I get Australian? <laughs> you know what? I'm, a, I'm fucking Australian! When you're making choices on the road, you gotta- you have to look for a little cues to infer what resource you'll be losing or gaining. Money might be the easiest one. Are you buying or renting something? Money, down. Hiring someone, money, down. Doing a job or selling something, money, up. But beware, sometimes the solution doesn't obviously involve buying something, but it involves using expensive stuff you may need to rent or buy. Oh. Hold on, I just realized. Yeah. I'm dumb. Hold on. Give what? Me a second. What? What? You're you're not dumb. And what about and what about magic? The mysterious substance that fuels our cars. <laughs> magic is tricky because sometimes you'll need to use it for spells, summonings, and curses. But that will mean flowing your magic and risking an empty fuel. Okay, tank. so magic is our fuel. Got it. That's important. Getting magic can be quite hard. You can find a gas station, or you may need to resort to performing sacrifice or colluding with strange power entities. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, long live Lynetta. <laughs> you know, classic road trip stuff. Crikey. You know. Our time is up, fellas. Let's discuss the other resources in future episodes of everyone's favorite radio show, Convenient Exposition. You know, I know you're a slime, but. What do those mouths do? <laughs> what you want to know? That's, the I, part, that's for after hours. Uh, someone's oh, okay. cut off the feed. Cut off the feed now. Now, please cut off the feed. I, I do want to know. I do want to know. Please cut the feed off. God. <laughs> Crikey. Crikey. Whoa, that was stupidly convenient. Scott, did you take notes? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, I hope Brian did, or at least otherwise we're truly fucked and not in a good way. Uh, hmm. Yeah, above that. <laughs> God! Nothing's as fun like two big <laughs> trucks on huge wheels wrecking the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, as someone who, you, who is still a Monster Jam fan, you're absolutely correct. That is completely fair. The stands are filled with- I've been to Monster Jam. <laughs> The stands are filled with cheering, hooting fans ready to see some vehicular carnage. Yeah, let's fucking go! <laughs> As for you and your friends, you're ready to... Oh Alright. Watch the show, take a joy ride, or pose as food vendors. Ooh. Uh, I think we have enough hype. Yeah, I think that's so too. Yeah, but what's that question mark? It's just basically it random. That's probably a random. Yeah. I mean, I do. Do you're, you making, you're, you're making the choice, man. You yeah. just checked your bank account and had a minor heart attack. It's time to make some extra cash. 
Man, if that ain't real. Right, for real. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't fucking start. Don't worry. I know the perfect way for us to get money. Let's pretend to be food vendors. But won't people notice we don't have uniforms or food or stuff? Psh, we don't need all that fancy shit to get people to buy give us money. We're at a monster truck rally. Everyone's too focused on the monster trucks to actually stop and realize we're phonies. Trust me, half the food vendors here are scammers themselves. Look around. <coughs> oh, oh, hold okay. on, wait, he's, oh, hold on, wait, they're mildly both Mildly intriguing. Yeah. Mr. Pharaoh here is mildly intriguing. Um, I call this one. Um, I, oh, you call, the, the, you call that one? Okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm a high. Food, get your food here. Love it. Uh, anyway, yep. oh, I got it. I got yep. it. Go for it. Great. I'm starving. But did you put food in air quotes? <laughs> Who knows? You were too focused on the monster trucks to even notice that I'm a phony. Hey, what the fuck? Bro. <laughs> the wolf pack well, here, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Good point. One food, please. British werewolf wolf pack. <laughs> one, one, um, one, <laughs> any, a food, please. <laughs> any, a food, please. <laughs> Excellent. I just put it to your mouth. A refund. Uh, oh I my mean, god. Put, I, I mean, you could put something else into my mouth. I mean. La mouth? <laughs> my doggies need to go away. Mmm. This tastes weird. Bro, what am I eating, bros? I can't look now. Too busy sharing your trucks. Holy shit, this will be really easy. The only thing left to decide is what food product you're going to sell to these suckers. Oh, fuck me. Oh, sell hard metaphysical questions. Be food for thought. You're, you're with Scott. And Scott, there's never a shortage of Scott snacks. Uh, these people really love cars. Milk your car with some sweet car juice. Oh, no. Oh, don't, don't, do the, don't do the car juice. Yeah, because I think magic. it's magic. We, that, we need to use magic. Totally yeah, magic. we need magic. So, hmm. I feel like Scott snacks would probably be the one. Yeah, I think so, too. Scott snacks would be pretty yeah. valid. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> bro, did you say you got say. bro, did you just say you got Scott snacks? <laughs> of course I have Scott snacks. My contract says I can never leave home without them. What the fuck? What do you mean a cut? Awesome. We'll take some. Hey, Scott, do you remember when you starred in that weird cartoon to promote these snacks? That was funny. Are you talking about Scott Snacks? The reverse harem anime about the Scott Snacks supermarket? What? <laughs> what? Of course I remember. Not I not wait, wait, so wait. Are we talking about reverse harem as in like one character it has like a harem of Scots? Is that a thing? <laughs> I've never been more excited to be part of yeah. So, okay. Uh, monster, uh, so, a uh, beautiful glitch. Um, if you're listening to this. I don't know if you are, but if you're listening to this. Um, when is this being made and how can we be involved? <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> For more well, information, please contact us in an animation. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I'm gonna be real. My my throat opened up a little bit more. Love now. <laughs> oh my god! I was a strong, solid, handsome supermarket butcher. Ooh. Oh, oh. And I was also in ch the charming divorced dad who oh. brought his kids to the store to get groceries every not week. The dad, <laughs> not the divorced oh. dad. Oh. You about to call him daddy? Oh. And I would also be annoying yet sexy supermarket manager everybody hated to love. Never mind. Lamel. <laughs> I even played the cardboard cutout of the Scott's next mascot who magically came to life with the power of sexy friendship. Oh my god. Okay, you, you're getting us back. You're getting us back with the cardboard cutout. Yeah, Scott Snacks had a good run. I like the episode where you had an appropriately anime over the top sales battle with your rival grocery store. Uh, here come the Shona fanboys again saying that this is peak fiction. I mean, what? <laughs> Holy shit, you're definitely binge watching Scott Snacks later. For now, though, you gotta make some sweet cash. You earn two money selling Scott Snacks to the other spectators who are nostalgic about Scott's anime. It takes some of the sting out of the two stamina lost to give all, the, all that food up. Okay, so stamina, we need to be careful with stamina from now on. Yeah, we can't let it get too low. See, okay, so if we see something that we can go up in stamina, I think we should go to it. Valid. Um, uh, UFO setting spot or... Um, Mm. I, we don't need more money. We we are fine. Yeah, we're fine. 
Can we get a monster truck, Polly? Nah, they get terrible gas mileage. That is true, though. <laughs> yeah, whole, uh, three true. feet to the gallon. Oh, yep. You came here today to answer the age-old question. Do aliens exist? I love the cow that's crying. <laughs> <gasps> Who knows if you see any today, but at least it'll be fun to hang out with the other UFO spotters. So besides watching, besides, so besides watch the stars and swap ex, um, extraterrestrial conspiracy theories, what do you want to do? All right, so we got to be careful. So the bottom one is negative for soul, but we gain something in, in exchange yeah. for soul. So I think we can sacrifice a little soul. Yeah, yeah, I would sacrifice a little bit of soul. It's too foggy <laughs> to see any UFOs, sadly. Wait, that's not fog. It's smoke. You follow it back to its source and find Kale and Abdu. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sup, guys? Um, would hope to send a message to some aliens. Oh, hey. I'll send a message to whoever you want. If I can buy, if I can bump, uh, head off that pipe. Uh, what do you, um, what do you want the message to say? Uh, uh which one of us? Um, excuse me, sir. Oh. You, you caught my attention now. <laughs> But but which one of us is gonna say it? Not me. I'll do it. Yep, go for it. Oh. We don't know yet. Whatever it is, it's gotta be really important, you know? Like something profound and deep and interesting all at once. Valid. Something like a smart man knows the tomato is fruit. A wise man knows not to put tomato in a fruit salad. <laughs> See Holy oh, shit, that is wise. See that just shot me back to my Mickey going crazy video. <laughs> You know, it's like something about that and then uh, ketchup not being a smoothie. Common sense is knowing that ketchup is not a smoothie. Ketchup is not a smoothie. <laughs> well, it, you don't be a little... Listen, listen, you're wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> it's just from the Tumblr post. I'm not saying in my opinion. Listen, okay, so then what is your opinion? My opinion is as long as it makes you happy, it's not hurting anyone, I don't give a fuck okay, what you uh, think. <laughs> okay, cool, but okay, cool. Thanks for the thanks for that, but like what is your opinion? My opinion? Is it your yeah. opinion is is it a smoothie? Yes or no? I have to seriously think about it, the definition of smoothie in order to give a proper let's see. So smoothie are we on the assumption that it adds like ice? Yeah, usually like a fruit with some ice in order to liquefy as well as and some keep milk? it No, that's a milk smoothie. Yeah, okay. so I would okay, say what, I would say if it adds ice, yes. If it doesn't add ice in order to increase any sort of flavors, then no. I was gonna yeah. say you want you want fruit? Okay, cool. That means a pineapple pizza is just a tomato bowl. Like uh, yeah, <laughs> a smoothie is a beverage made by puree ingredients in a blender. A smoothie commonly has liquid base such as fruit juice or milk, yogurt, ice cream, or cottage cheese. Okay, there so it has go. a milk product. So, so but then, ketchup so doesn't have a milk product. Yeah, milk ketchup doesn't have a milk product, so no. Okay, so then if you think about it, if you put a slice of pizza into the blender with some ice, that is a tomato <laughs> smoothie. That is correct. <laughs> Who the hell Go puts on. cheese in a fucking smoothie? Exactly. That's, uh, that's the you'd thing. be very shocked. Actually, you'd be cottage very shocked. Cottage cheese, though. It's cottage no, cheese. Not like or, or, um... No, I've seen cream cheese. I've seen cottage. Mm. I've seen... Shit, you're right. Um, Pillow God, tomatoes are fruits. Yeah. <laughs> tomatoes are fruits. <laughs> But anyways, moving on. <laughs> We're getting into existential crises here. <laughs> if you guys want to send the aliens a message, you get one back. Maybe instead of being philosoph... Phil <laughs> what? <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> Maybe instead of being philosophical, the message should be really eye-catching. Yeah, something like, these stoners sent a message to aliens and you'll never believe what happened next. Whoa, what happened next? That's for us to decide, bro. It all depends on the message. Fuck, you're blowing my mind right now. The future is ours to shape, to be Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. You guys obviously know what you're doing. Christy, got any ideas oh. for an attention-grabbing <laughs> message to send to the alien? Ooh. Oh, He's still doing crop circles. These tutorials will teach oh you more artistic way to deface oh, Earth's dumb, oh my non gaseous God. surface. Describe now. Eight cool Earthlings you must abduct at least once in your life. Number six will shock you. Oh my God. Oh my God. So it's a clickbait. So clickbait oh titles. Um, I'm trying to think of what would help us. Uh, hmm. Sorry. So I think um, one go. of the, I think one of them is mine. Uh, obviously, one of them has to be mm -hmm. mine. Um, maybe the bottom one's hype, um, and the, at the top one's mine, because the top one is a tutorial, the bottom one is more information on hyping it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Also, if uh. you guys hear rustling, I'm so sorry. Um, 
I may or may not be putting together sticker packs for merch, but you didn't know that. Mm, no, you're fine. Can you can say goodbye as child if he howls, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. I like it, but I'm not sure if I know that many objectively cool people. That's okay. Yeah. You're so hip and cool that you can easily name a few other cool people. Cool Josh for starters. There's also Rad Richard from school, your pen pal, badass Brenda. The homeless man on your block that does backflips <laughs> off of parking meters. Tony Hawk? Oh. <laughs> I love that guy. He Wait, comes who? to join off me once and taught me the meaning of life. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the, the, like the homeless guy that did kick flips off a fucking parking meter. <laughs> Period. Ugh. It means the quality that distinguishes a vital and functional being from a dead body. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. Deep. That all sounds good, but m by my calculations, we're still 4, 3, 17, okay, the two. Lots of people four. short. Well, Damn. obviously, the rest of the list is going to be taken up by Kale, Abdu, and your road tripping crew. You're the coolest friends around. <laughs> we're going to get abducted. Aw, Christy, you corny little shit. <laughs> God. Okay, I'm down. We need a cool name for ourselves to make the aliens buy it, though. Fair enough. Maybe the cool friends who are objectively very The blush cool. on his face gives me life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's perfect. Aww. Man, those aliens would have to be stupid not to meet us. You guys are the coolest friends I've ever had. Aw, how precious. No aliens Aww. respond to your message, but you still gain two hype for the power of friendship. Let's go. Aww. Hey. However, you lose two soul for employing clickbait tactics to get your message across. That's fine. <laughs>